This is the 95 The One. Sonova The One. 160 liters. 95 by 32. It paddles really nicely. It's so light. It's 22 pounds. It may actually be a hair under 22 pounds. Uh, it's the new construction. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm taking it out for a paddle today on this beautiful day. It has 160 liters. I weigh 234 pounds this morning. I weighed myself on a digital scale and I'm wearing a wetsuit, so probably around 240. So this board floats me nicely. It paddles well. It surfs really well. I've been surfing it lately. It's nice and easy in the winter for me. And it uh, it really does surf well. I like the way it surfs. Considering that you can paddle it on flat water, this is a pretty nice choice for a lot of people. A nice little Sonova paddle with the PVC rubber edges so that it doesn't ding up your board when you smack it, which I do a lot of smacking. It's about a seven or seven and a half inch blade. It's really nice. I use it in flat water and surf. I mean, this is my surf paddle. I beat it up a bit. But it's a really nice paddle in the surf. It has the components that come apart. You just heat this up with a, I have an extended grip on it down the extended handle down to here. So I just heat it up with a heat gun and pull the handle out if I want it longer or push it in if I want it shorter. Uh, great system. Same with the blade. You've got a problem, you just replace the blade, you break the, you break the shaft, you replace the shaft. No need to buy a whole new paddle. As you can see, this board doesn't spin around in circles when you paddle it. It paddles, you know, for a combination surfboard, flat water board, this paddles pretty nice. This wind's coming up nicely. I'll have to work to get the barley net, but then it'll be a nice ride back. A little workout before breakfast. Well, here we are at the end of Barley Neck, Woodfield Point. Had a nice paddle out against the wind. One of the reasons I like a short stuff when I'm paddling is I come into little creeks like this and go up into the marsh like that and the 14-footers don't fit around the uh, 
don't fit around the twists and turns quite so well. Five years in, I'm not bored paddling the 9.5 surface. Though. I've got my, I like the coil leash because when you're paddling flat water, uh, if your leash is dragging behind you, it picks up a, a lot of this marsh grass and stuff floats around on the top, especially at the tide turn. And you end up with a lot on your leash. So I use a coiled leash so that it stays out of the water on the deck. Just like this is going to be less work going home. This wind is going to blow me right down the river. Very nice. Nice rocket pictures. Or it has enough nose kick so that it works well in the surf. And it's got a fairly flat rocket. Not a lot of ton of raised up tail rocker. It's a very flat. Uh, very flat tail. It's really a fast one. This board is amazingly fast. I think it's one of the fastest boards I own. It has this nice lifts up handle. So when you go to put it on your car, you can throw it all around, upside down, yada, yada, yada. Right now I'm going to put it upside down. It's very flat bottomed. And too deep of water. Hey, how you doing? Nice day, huh? Get on all my fins on the ground. This is why I like short boards. This is a pretty big creek, but I go down some that are just as wide as the board. I like exploring the byways, the sideways. On a little board, it's fun. Very maneuverable, very easy to turn around, to sneak around in little places. So this handle goes flush with the deck, so there's no no big hole to trip in on your deck. My quick release leash. 